Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessity, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The just will flourish like the palm tree and glow, grow like a Lebanon cedar, planted in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who brought the Abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel said to Saul, Stop! Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Saul replied, Speak! Samuel then said, Though little in your own esteem, are you not leader of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king of Israel and sent you on a mission, saying, Go and put the sinful Amalekites under a ban of destruction. Fight against them until you have exterminated them. Why then have you disobeyed the Lord? You have pounced on the spoil, thus displeasing the Lord. Saul answered Samuel, I did indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought back Agag, and I have destroyed Amalek under the ban. But from the spoil, the men took sheep and oxen, the best of what had been banned, to sacrifice to the Lord their God in Gilgal. But Samuel said, Does the Lord so delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obedience to the command of the Lord? Obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission than the fat of rams. For a sin like divination is rebellion, and presumption is the crime of idolatry. Because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he too has rejected you as ruler. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is kind to my eyes. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the, the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guest fast while the bridegroom is still with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. 
No one sews a piece of unshrunken clothes on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away, and the new from the old, and fear gets worst. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins, otherwise the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wine skins. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Bilang batang 90s ho, I remember myself watching this early TV show called At Iba Pa. At sa segment, isa sa mga segment ng TV show na to na At Iba Pa, I was always fond of participating dito sa pagpili ng alin ang naiba. May kanta pa nga huli ata yun. Piliin, piliin, piliin kung alin. Piliin kung alin ang naiba. So there's two pictures, no? And one as a game, no? Has to have a keen sense of observation to check, no? Ano yung naiba dun sa dalawang picture na yun? At nakakatawa dahil ito ay pastime ng isang bata. In some of the comics also, no, comic section of newspapers, no, I think there was also a portion of it no, na ganito. No. It's a game wherein you will have to pinpoint alin sa dalawang picture while comparing them side by side with each other, choosing alin ang fictitious na nuances sa dalawang image. Panlibang, and quite entertaining. And it challenges one's keen sense of observation. Curiosity of people. People tend to compare and contrast. Madalas si natin itong ginagawa. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, it somehow paints the same story. It goes that people were somehow curious also, comparing the disciples of John and the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. And so people came to Jesus and asked them, Sila nag-aayuno? Bakit kayo hindi? It goes to show na parang mas better yata sila dahil sila ay nag-aayuno at kayo ay hindi nag-aayuno. But Jesus argued them, no? they cannot do that because I am still with them. I am still around with them. The disciples of Jesus know better na recognizing the difference between the Pharisees, John the Baptist, and himself, no? he is much more worth it compared to the previous images that they were somehow comparing him with. No? Going back to our natural tendency to observe and compare, kung mapapansin po natin ang ating mga sarili, madalas kung pag tayo ay bored no? o walang ginagawa, no? medyo automatic din sa atin na maging pastime ang pangungumpara. Pangungumpara to the point na bakit ang iba meron ako wala? O bakit ang ibang buhay ay medyo mas angat ako hindi? Meron pang ang punto na inaangatin natin nating sarili, yung mga righteous, no? thinking ourselves to be better than other people. To the point, my dear brothers and sisters, that we no longer see or appreciate that which is, proximately speaking, no? a blessing. Mas madalas nating pinipinpoint kung ano ang wala kasi kung ano ang meron. No? And this could be bad and very self-defeating. 
Same as those questions na tinanong kay Jesus, no? Bakit kayo hindi nag-aayuno at yung kay Juan Bautista at mga pareseyo nag-aayuno? But Jesus was cognizant. Hindi nila ginagawa yun that I, because I am here, no need to do that. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for our reflection today, perhaps we are invited to ask and check, our, check ourselves. Ano bang pinagkakabala natin during our free time? How do we remunerate? No? Nagmumuni-muni. Mahilig ba tayong maglaro at mangumpara sa buhay ng iba? How do we use our free time? Are we comparing or are we appreciating? Recognizing that which we presently have in our reach. O mas prone tayo sa paghahanap kung alin ang wala sa atin. If we tend to do this, my dear brothers and sisters, we become lesser and lesser in our capacity to appreciate and be thankful of what we have within our reach, especially Jesus and our own self-worth. I guess we should be more challenged of comparing not to other people, but to our old self. This is what is Jesus pointing in the gospel, having old wineskin and new wineskin. Mas maganda ho siguro ikumpara natin ang ating sarili hindi sa mga tao na sa paligot natin o kaya sa mga achievement ng iba kundi ikumpara natin ang ating sarili sa ating dating sarili so that along the way along the way we are battling our own what betterment no That is more noble, I think, my dear brothers and sisters. Mas pagtuunan natin ng pansin ang pagiging mabuti, becoming a better version of ourselves. Constantly comparing not to others, but to our old selves. As we continue to configure and change ourselves to be more and more like Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God our Father that we may bring that He may bring us closer to the values of the gospel and to renew the church and the world. In every prayer we say, Lord of the banquet, renew us. Lord of the banquet, renew us. That the church, the people of God and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today, the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the banquet, renew, renew us. us. That those who are invest, invested with executive, legislative, and judicial functions in society may consist, consistently place the good of human beings above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the banquet, renew us that we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the banquet, renew us. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet renew, renew us. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the banquet, renew us. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. May their brothers and sisters that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and grant that released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held his mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. The world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof. roof. But, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed, just as by your grace, Saint Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, Ina ng 